mentioned uh, just before our last break, one of the uh, major areas of controversy has been the question of sainthood for Father Junipero Serra, the founder of the California Mission System. It uh, has been one of the touchiest issues the Pope has faced or, and will face during his trip. Last month, the Vatican uh, announced that Father Serra's beatification, one of the steps towards sainthood, would not be done during the papal visit. Channel 7's Tony Russomano has been following the story, the controversy as it has changed, as it has evolved, especially as it relates to one particular sister in St. Louis. Here's that report. The nuns at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Convent in St. Louis, Missouri, say it was the controversy over Father Junipero Serra's alleged mistreatment of Indians that killed Serra's planned beatification at Laguna Seca. Sister Boniface Dierda said the Vatican was concerned that anti-Serra demonstrations would detract from the Pope's visit. And Sister Boniface does have something of an inside line, causing a controversy in her own right. She is the nun whose sudden recovery from a mystery disease was certified by the Vatican as the miracle required to elevate Sarah towards sainthood. It began with deathbed prayers suggested by the nun's Franciscan chaplain. You're praying, he said, you're praying for, to all kinds of saints. Why don't you start praying to somebody else? They don't need the prayers. They're up in heaven already. But you start praying to Padre Sarah. He's a Franciscan. He's a venerable. Maybe we can get him beatified some way. So let's uh, start praying for a miracle. You thought maybe Father Sarah was uh, looking around for a miracle to work on? Probably. I, I think so. I really do, because I think he's the one that really helped. The disease and recovery happened in 1959. In the 28 years since then, the church has attempted to use science to prove or disprove something very unscientific, the physical reality of a supernatural miracle. If religion and science are two different worlds, the bridge between those worlds occurred here at DePaul Health Center in St. Louis. Doctors who examined Sister Boniface's medical records were asked to tell a church tribunal whether they could find any scientific explanation for the nun's sudden cure. We could not document anything in the, in the record in terms of medication that she received or, or any other uh, factor that could have led to the uh, rather surprising survival. But Dr. Emil Moskowski said his medical team could not determine the cause of the nun's illness. And skeptics, such as doctors at the National Council Against Health Fraud at Southern California's Loma Linda Hospital, say that without knowing what the nun had, there's no way to say whether her quick recovery was natural or not. But the medical controversy is overshadowed by Unipero Serra's own behavior, his bizarre self-flagellations, and especially his creation and administration of the system that resulted in the destruction of the Indian culture. We know that the, the, the beatings, the whippings, the stalks, the separation of the men and the women, the, we, we know the forced labor of building the mission. This is what is terrible about Father Sarah. Anthony Miranda is the elected tribal chairman of the Carmel Mission Band of Costanoan Indians, whose ancestors traveled with Sarah from his headquarters in Carmel. Left behind were the bodies of thousands of Costanoans in mass graves in the mission courtyard, the victims of European diseases that spread among the Indians who followed Sarah's call. Those who tried to go back to their tribes were beaten by soldiers and forcibly returned to Sarah's control. There were abuses during the mission period by individuals, and above all, after the, the secularization of the missions. And it was real cruelty. And during the gold rush, there was murder but uh, all that is being wished on this little padre, which uh, the documents don't verify whatsoever. Father Noel Moholy has been the leading advocate of sainthood for Sarah for nearly 30 years. He believes that regardless of masochistic behavior and patronizing methods, Sarah's intentions were good. However, a saint is expected to be beyond controversy, and that's clearly not the case with Sarah. The Indians compare him to Hitler, but perhaps a more recent war gives us a better analogy. To paraphrase what an American Army major once said in Vietnam, Junipero Serra believed it was necessary to destroy the Indian culture in order to save them. Tony Russomano, Channel 7 News. So the question of sainthood for Father Serra will apparently have to wait for the results of further Vatican inquiries, though Pope John Paul in Phoenix did make some, some statements in support of Father Serra. We'll talk with one of our commentators a little later about that and